welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha, and if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. So this week we're going to be talking about what life has been like on keto. Um, today is Friday. As of Wednesday, um, this past Wednesday, I have been on keto for three weeks, and it has been um, interesting to say the least. Um, for me, I am down 12-ish pounds, give or take. Um, there was a point when I gained like two pounds, and then I lost the one pound, and then, um, I don't know, it was like kind of a roller coaster there for a minute. Um, but right now I'm stuck at the about 12 pound loss. Um, I don't think that I'm stalling, but I think the um, initial water weight um, is what I lost. And so now, you know, whatever weight that I'm going to lose from this point on is probably just, you know, progress. Um, so let's see. It's been quite interesting. Um, I've learned that um, I'm not really craving like breads and sugars. I mean, where I still need to have um, sugar in um, my coffee. And speaking of which, it's about 11.30 here this morning and I'm drinking my bulletproof coffee. I've really come to depend on this because I'm not a breakfast eater. So that gets me through the morning. Um, now I'm a little confused as, as um, regarding whether or not bulletproof coffee breaks your intermediate, intermediate fast. Um, because I do, you know, try to fast now. My normal wake up time is about um, 7.30, 8 o'clock, give or take. Um, and then I'm just like, now it's low. Well, it's almost 12, and I'm just now drinking bulletproof coffee because I haven't been hungry this morning. That Now, the coffee will sustain me till about, um, I don't know, 2, 3, maybe. So, so far, I've been eating um, a lot of eggs, beef. Um, I'm believing that I need to cut down on my cheese um, because when I say your girl can't go to the bathroom, yeah. Um, I finally just took a laxative because these last couple of days have been rough. Um, let's see, what else? Um, keto community, wow. Um, I have seen some really good, um, people, but then there's still, there's still a lot of negativity surrounding this way of eating. Um, and then, wow, the keto police are real, aren't they? Um, you know, I heard of them. I, you know, there were, they were mentioned when I was looking into whether or not this was the way that I wanted to eat. Um. And, um, yeah, I mean, I haven't had any issues, um, on my Instagram so far, which is great. Um, but I have seen, you know, on other people, some of the people that I follow and then some of the people who, you know, I just look to see what they're doing and what, um, things are working for them. Um, but I have seen like the, the keto police and wow, they're, they're a little judgmental, um, you know, if I've learned nothing else so far in these three weeks, because again, I consider myself a newbie. I'm at this, like I said, this today's Friday. Um, as of this past Wednesday, it was it's it'll be three weeks. Next Wednesday will be the month, even though it's not quite the first. Um, but still, you know, so I still consider myself a newbie. I'm fresh out of the gate, so I'm not in a position to tell anyone anything or recommend anything or do anything, but at the same time, 
what I've learned, you know, I'm not going to pass judgment on someone else who doesn't still, you know, who doesn't do what I do. Um, and that's what I realized that I'm seeing is a lot of people have, you know, you have your, um, OG keto people and I'm, you know, those are the people who have been doing it for two plus years and they feel like, you know, they know everything there is to know about keto. And so they feel it upon them. They take it upon themselves to want to school you, um, and about what works for them. And then you have the, you know, that's not keto people. Um, I'm in a, in a few keto groups and you see that often you post something. I haven't, again, I haven't had that problem. Thank goodness. But I mean, I see it, you know, in the groups, people come in and they say, Oh, this is what I ate or this is what I had. And you know, here come the, that's not keto people, you know, that's not keto. And you're, you know, you're misleading people. And so, what the conclusion I've come to is this way of eating is not a one size fit all um, lifestyle at all. Um, Cause what works for some people may, you know, don't work for other people. For me right now, again, like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still l figuring out what works for me. Um, so far I've done good in terms of, figuring out what I like and how to make it taste good. So I'm, you know, I'm not a, really a pork eater, but though I'm not going to lie, I have had a couple of pieces of bacon, um, <laughs> in these last three weeks. Um, but I mainly try to stick to turkey bacon. It's very rare that I will have like pork bacon. Actually, I like one piece of pork bacon on my, um, hamburgers, you know, without the bun. So, or, or lettuce wrap seems to me turkey, I mean, pork bacon tastes better in a lettuce wrap. Um, you know, don't argue with me. <laughs> don't dispute me on this. Um, and then what else? <clears throat> I um, have done a lot of chicken. I've done a lot of ham, well, ground beef. Um, I've had salmon so far. Um, oh my goodness, I learned... Was it Cheese is the New Bread? Her Instagram is Cheese is the New Bread. You have to go check her out. Um, I did her cheese bun. Um, you can make like little squares for hamburger buns or you can spread it out to do like a pizza. Um, and that's what I did. In fact, I'm going to post it um, somewhere now. Okay, here it was after I had placed all of the toppings. That's ground beef, onions, and pepperoncinis. Then this was it after it came out of the oven. Um, it smells so good. And then this was after uh, it was on my plate. Delicious. Oh my good, did you see that? That looked so freaking, and it was so flipping good like honestly I may never go back to bread like honestly like that was so freaking good I use like grated parmesan and just some salt and pepper and then the cheese and the egg and she you know mixed it all up and stuck it in the oven Whew, let me tell you um and see what else Oh, I did lose about three inches in my waist. I don't know that you can see a difference yet. Um, I will post progress pictures um, on the first. So I'll do updated progress pictures on the first. So I'm just pretty much relying on my pictures to tell me whether or not um, anything is happening. Yes, I see the numbers on the scale going down. Yes, I see you know, the numbers on the, um, tape measure moving, but pictures tell the real story. So, you know, that's what I'll be doing. Um, other than that, let's see, it's been pretty good. I did experience, you know, keto flu. Um, but you know, I had a stroke, so 
most days I wasn't sure if that was flu or stroke fatigue or just a little bit of both. Mm, and speaking, well, not speaking, but I had a doctor's appointment this past Wednesday. It was my first time visiting this doctor and I was a little taken back. Now, granted, he's going to be my primary care physician. Um, I'm trying not to judge him because this was our very first visit, but I, you know, explained to him, of course, you know, the first thing out of his mouth was, you know, you have to lose weight. Uh, duh. Um, I said, you know, so I said, well, you know, I've been, I had researched the keto diet and, and I've been, you know, following that for the last couple of weeks. I said, I've done pretty good. I'm about down, you know, 12 pounds. He says, oh, well, you know, I would recommend that you go vegetarian. If you really want to lose the weight and you want to keep it off, you know, you have to go vegetarian. Okay, well, I just said that I was on keto. I just started it. I've, I'm already down 12 pounds. I don't know if it, you know, if it'll work. I said, you know, I can't honestly tell you that um, I want to be a vegetarian. I said, it's not to say that I couldn't be a vegetarian, but I won't become a vegetarian today. I love meat too much. Um, and I said, but there is a keto, you know, version, a vegetarian version of keto. And he was like, oh, I think you should do that. You know, and then, so then, you know, we discussed like my blood work and levels and things of that nature. And then he, then out of nowhere, he says, you know, have you ever considered weight loss surgery? And I thought, no, you know, so the first thing out of my mouth was no, you know, I've, I've had family members who, um, had, um, weight loss surgery. So, you know, I got to see the effects of that up close and personal. Granted, they were a little lazy with, you know, um, with their lifestyle, I mean, with the lifestyle in the sense that they really didn't do anything beyond the surgery. Um, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, we're not even going to work on, you know, me trying to figure out other ways to lose weight. We're not even going to discuss anything. You, first of all, you think vegetarian and you went from vegetarian to weight loss surgery, like in 2.5 seconds seemed like, you know, so I was a little taken back by that. And, you know, I thought to myself, you know, you know, you're, you're kind of skating on thin ice, you know, and like I said, it's the first, it was the very first visit. So I said, I was going to give him a chance and see, but if he continues to not listen to me and not, you know, um, do what's, you know, in my best interest or hear what I have to say, or if he keeps still trying to push me into these quick fixes, then, you know, there's a good chance that I will probably, in fact, I know that I'll start to look for um, a new doctor because I don't want a doctor who just wants to pump me full of pills or, you know, throw me on an operating table and cut my stomach in half. Um, so yeah, I was a little bothered by that. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't know any, really most doctors, I think that's just the way that they think. Um, let's see what else. Um, it's, oh, it's been <laughs> interesting to say the least. Like my son, when I first went grocery shopping, he was like, I can do keto. I, you know, he went on, made all of his little 9 million excuses. But since I've been cooking and everything, so the other day he says, I'm going keto next month. Because, you know, the food that I've been making, I'm, he's like, am I getting something? I'm like, no, this is my keto food. I bought you your food. You eat your stuff. You eat your non-keto. You know, he was like, I'm going keto next month. <laughs> so I thought to myself, son, whatever. So, you know, well, he was going keto until I told him, well, you have to give up your pancakes. Well, you don't have to give up your pancakes, but you can't eat your grits, you can't eat your cream of wheat, you can't, you know, he's like, oh, well then, you know, never mind. I said, well, there are alternatives, you know, there's just other ways. You just have to figure out a different way or whatever. Um, and so he's just like, no, mom, no. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Um, and what else? Oh, I've been experimenting with like different, um, recipes and stuff like I said I did the cheese is the new bread her cheese buns I did a mud cake a cinnamon mud cake um I did it with stevia um so it was kind of like that aftertaste 
which threw me off. I mean, it was good, but then, you know, at the same time, that aftertaste throws me off. So I did switch to monk fruit. Um, so I'm giving that a chance. I haven't made the mud cake with the, with the monk fruit. Um, so I can't, I don't know whether or not I like it that way, but I certainly like my bulletproof coffee better because, you know, there's no, there's that, that lingering whatever stevia does and then I did the liquid so somebody said, um, recommended that I do the granular grand, how you say grand you know the crystals <laughs> um, then uh, let's see I, what I made the cheese buns the the uh, mud cake and something else I made something else on keto um, Wow, I can't think of what it was. But anyway, so what else? I have been um, just overall, I feel really good. Um, I have a energy that um, I used, didn't used to have, but then at the same time, I have stroke fatigue. So they kind of battle each other on any given day. Like I can wake up with oh goodness i'm about to conquer the world i'm about to do all of this and then you know the fatigue kicks in and it just basically reset i mean re you know my whole day is like shot like like for instance like i went to the doctor on wednesday and i needed all of thursday which was yesterday to um recuperate so i spent most of the day just kind of you know getting my getting my strength back um, and giving my body a rest. But then also, um, I am limited on the exercises and stuff that I can do, um, which frustrates me to no end. You know, it's crazy because, and that's a whole nother subject. And I know I'm jumping all over the place. This is a wing it video. And I had no idea what I was going to talk about. I just knew that I was going to talk and then hopefully you guys would listen. Um, but the one thing, you know, that I know that I struggled with was prior to the stroke, when I could exercise, I made every excuse I could not to. And now that I can't exercise and I want to, and my body is just most days is not willing to, or doesn't have the strength to, um, it frustrates me to know flipping in like I get so frustrated so you know my advice to anyone out there young and old is just don't take your life for granted don't take um, you know your ability to move for granted because I did you know when I could exercise like I said I made every excuse in the book not to you know oh you know I used to <laughs> I used to say that I was allergic to exercise. Um, and so now that I literally, I, I won't say that I let literally exercise because I mean, I can do some, you know, certain things, but the exercise that I need to do right now to benefit is the exercise that I can't do. Like, yes, I can do, I can lift, you know, little weights or whatever, but I have no balance whatsoever standing up is truly tricky for me um as long as i'm walking and i'm moving and i'm mobile then i'm okay but to stand still or try to you know lift a leg or stretch an arm you know i no, i can't um i can't do that right now i won't say that you know i do believe that i'll get better um i do believe that i will you know regain the strength on my left side um to allow me to you know exercise I will say properly because it's not that I don't exercise but you know there's my range of motion on my left side is very um, unpredictable so you know I can go to reach for something you know with my left hand and you know even though I'm reaching forward my hand will go you know in a totally different direction and sometimes there's what 
I don't know if all stroke victims um, suffer from it, but I have something like like a it's called it's a bounce. Like when I go to do something, my hand, well, my left hand anyway, bounces. And the reason you can't see because it's right now it would be hard for me to lift this hand up. So I have to most times pick this, use my right hand to pick up my left hand. Um, so yeah, that went all off topic. Um, so back to keto. Um, so like I said, it's been a whirlwind. Um, I'm glad that I chose this way of life. It's something that I feel like I can maintain. It's something that I feel confident that I will succeed in because I don't feel deprived. Like right now, my son made biscuits. Biscuits, if you knew me or if you know me, then you know bread was my best friend. Um, biscuits, toast, bread, pancakes, buns of all kind um, were, you know, my thing. But my son made um, biscuits, like the flaky kind, the buttermilk you know, flaky kind, um, and they're still sitting on the counter because I just, it's not to say that I don't want them, but then I don't want to sabotage. I don't want to undo what I've done. And I've never had that feeling on any diet or any lifestyle way of eating before. Same thing, sugar. I, a couple of days ago, wanted a cold and I mean a really cold glass of lemonade but I thought I don't want any sweetener I want lemonade with real sugar so I got up I went in the kitchen I proceeded to make the lemonade but then when it came time for me to put the um, sugar in there I couldn't do it I couldn't put the sugar in it. So, and I didn't want the sweetener in it because, again, the aftertaste. So I wound up just drinking an exceptionally cold um, glass of lemon water, <laughs> which actually turned out to be really good. I didn't really need the sugar or anything in it. Now, don't let me get to lying to you because, you know, this is this channel is about me being honest. Um, eventually, I did give in to putting the sugar in there because it... At the end of the day, this is it was what I wanted. I didn't want lemon water. I wanted lemonade with sugar in it. And so I put um, two scoops, not two scoops. We have like the little, it's a little bitty scoopy thingy of sugar in there. And thought, oh, goodness. And I went to drink it, and it was too sweet. I don't know that I've ever said anything was too sweet. But um, I think I drank... I drank enough to get the um, craving out of my system and I basically just chucked the rest of it because it was just too sweet and I couldn't drink it. Um, so I started back, you know, I made more lemonade, but then I just put the sweetener in, I mean the stevia in there and I thought, Ugh, it is what it is. But yeah, so I've had, with the exception of the lemonade, I've had no slip-ups. Like, I haven't, like, snuck and ate bread. I haven't snuck and, you know, did anything that I wasn't supposed to do, which is surprising for me because I usually cheat. Like, you know, I thought to myself, okay, well, I'll have a cheat day. Um, and I haven't had one of those either. Most of the time, though, what I'm really figuring out or and learning is that I'm never, I'm not really hungry most days. Like, like I said, I'm drinking my bulletproof coffee. That'll sustain me till about two, maybe three. Um, and then I'll more than likely have like a hamburger patty with some cheese. Well, I probably won't include the cheese because, like I said, I think the cheese is not causing a stall, but I think I eat too much of it, so it started to affect me going to the bathroom. But so I'll probably just have like some eggs and, and a hamburger patty or. Um, because I'm out of turkey break in, so. Or I'll probably just do, like, some chicken wings or something. Oh, my goodness, I made some. There I go, jumping all over the place again. I made some um, <clears throat> Parmesan garlic chicken wings, like, wing stop. Let me tell you, girlfriend, them suckers were good. And 
Wingstop don't have nothing. And I baked them too. I didn't even fry them. I baked them to the point where they, I don't I need an air fryer. Um, but I baked them until they were really crispy and then seasoned them with the, you know, the extra garlic and the Parmesan. And oh my goodness, even my son was like, mom, these are good. So yeah. Um, and then dinner usually consists of whatever I feel like, like in terms of like my snacks, keto snacks, they're gone. Um, and I decided not to go buy anymore because as long as I had the snacks and I wasn't actually eating. Um, and so I don't want to starve myself, but I have no appetite, which I'm not complaining. Trust me. I'm so not complaining, but I, you know, it's ingrained in my brain that you have to eat. You have to eat. You know, it's important that you eat. Your body needs fuel. Food is fuel. So, you know, I'm stuck on that. And that, that record is, that's what's been happening. That record has been playing over in my head. You need to eat. You need to eat. But then I'm thinking, I'm not hungry. Like, I don't, you know, it's like <sighs> what's been ingrained versus what my body is feeling. Like yesterday, I made me something to eat. Not because I was hungry, but because I felt like I hadn't eaten all day and I need to eat. Um, because again, food is fuel and I need fuel. So that struggle, um, I don't know if skipping meals or not eating all day is good or bad or whatever the case may be. Like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, and then that's pretty much that's been pretty much it. That's been my three weeks on um, keto. So now the next video will be, I'll probably do another one next week. Um, because like I said, Wednesday, next Wednesday will be, again, today is Friday. That's the day I'm, I'm filming this video on Friday. But in case you don't see it until like Sunday or Monday, um, Wednesday will be I'll probably do another video again on Wednesday um, probably won't upload until Friday or so but it is what it is but then for sure there'll definitely be a new video on September 1st because September 1st will be my official one month in and then that's where I will talk about you know my month on keto and then um, it'll be full of um, you know, progress pictures and update pictures. Actually, I'm going to be throwing some pictures in somewhere now. Um, in terms of, or showing you uh, a front view and a side view. Uh, so that way we can see, you know, any differences, any changes. Actually, the, the pictures that's going, that you're going to be seeing, um, or have saw because you would have seen them by now um, were at the after I took my measurements and realized that I was down three inches because when I started August 1st I measured my waist measured at 52 and a half inches and then when I took uh, my measurements again about well, a week ago I was down um, 40 to 49 so I'm out of the 50 um, which is good I'm not complaining um, so we'll see and then I'll take measurements again on the um, first to see you know exactly how much but then I so the pictures that you saw were just I just took the measurements of my waist I didn't measure anything else but the reason I took the measurements of my waist is because my son had said mom it looks like you're losing weight but I wasn't seeing the numbers on the scale to reflect that so I thought well let me check let me see you know let me take my measurements and see if maybe that's where he's seeing it and sure enough like I said my waist was down three inches so we'll see um all right well I guess that's enough of me rambling so again <laughs> thank you for watching um if you're you know and if you want to see more videos don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to hit the little bell button so that way you'll be um, aware of when I make new videos. So if
nothing else. It's 12 o'clock for me, whatever time it is for you. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a good day. Bye.